hey 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 you guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing some beef tacos now the beef tacos it takes a while i'll say about um three hours the most because you got to stew your beef your beef got to be stewed to where it is coming apart almost like you're doing pulled pork so to stew your beef and make it you know that tender to, in, there, in order to pull it apart you're gonna have to cook it for about two hours for your meat okay so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna I'm about to take you to what you need then we're gonna get that stew in the pot and we're gonna let it stew then I'll be back at you guys to show you the rest so let's get in let's jump into the um what the ingredients everything that you need okay it's getting closer to midnight I tried to get closer to you all right so you want to need you um hold up you know where I put the beef hold up all right you gonna need you some beef I got this um uh, some people use oxtails but I'm gonna use this stew meat and um let this get tender and we're gonna chop it up like you know like I said like the pulled pork all right you're gonna need you some tortilla wraps you're gonna need you some peppers and onions. I didn't pull the onion out, but you're gonna need you some onions. Um, you're gonna need you some queso cheese. I got the dip, so whatever kind of queso you prefer. You're gonna need you some chicken broth. You're gonna need you some Creole garlic powder, onion powder. You're gonna need you some peppers, all right. This is a key important part of the recipe. These peppers. And you're going to need you some red hot chili peppers. Yes, sir. We're going to be on fire, baby. All right. Also, you want to get you some mozzarella cheese. And get you some sh sharp cheddar cheese. Oh, and also get you some parsley, okay? I got the parsley. I got to get the onion and the parsley and pull that out for you guys. So that's almost everything you need. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to the pot and um, stew the meat, okay? All right, see, so while the pot is over there getting ready for the sizzle, y'all know I like to, sit, to hit a sizzle. While the pot over there getting ready, we're going to cut uh us some onion and bell pepper all right you don't need too much because you're just going to use this to put in the pot to fry um we're going to fry our scooby first all right we're going to fry it first then we go from there but let's cut up us some onion and pepper first I love um onion and peppers in a lot of my food almost everything heck if y'all watch my videos you'll see that I put it in a lot of my dishes all right all right so we're gonna go over here to the pot all right what I did was put some oil in the pot, then I put my onion and bell pepper in the pot, and then I put my meat in the pot, because like I said, we want to fry our meat first. If my background is loud, guys, please forgive me. Alright, so, yeah. We're going to get this nice and fried first, and then we are going to the next step. But, let's fry your meat. Get your sous vide fried first, okay? All right, so we got it nice and fried, all right? All right, we're going to the next step. All right, you guys, so put your um, red hot chilies. We're going to let it soak so it can get a little soft. So just let it soak for a while um, just to get them softened up, okay? Cause you know they are in the pack and they dry and they hard so you want to let them get soft all right all right so we're gonna go ahead and chop up 
our onions and peppers. All right. Go ahead and get it all chopped up. All right, so we're going to get it nice and chopped up. Then the next step, we're going to blend everything together, all right? So let's get this stuff chopped up, then we're going to the next step. All right, so we're going to go ahead and blend our um, chili and peppers, okay? Just put a little bit of your broth in here, just a little bit, so you can get a little saucy, um, make it saucy, all right? And put your red chilies in there. And guys, get you a ninja. I love this ninja. So blend your onion and your peppers and your chili. Get it nice and blended up. Oh shoot, y'all, I gotta plug it up. It ain't gonna blend if it ain't plugged up. to strain this um, puree that we just chopped in the blender. Now don't laugh y'all. <laughs> I gotta get me a uh, strainer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my shifter for now. Gotta use what you got sometimes. Alright. Get that cold in there. We're gonna strain it because you don't want those seeds. You don't want them seeds in it. Let that strain. Get that nice and strained. Like I said, you don't want to put those seeds and all of that in it. All right, see all that good stuff in there? Yeah. All you want right here is this. This is what you want, okay? 
to you guys. So we're gonna go over here to the pot. We'll put our um put some onions, some fresh onions in here with um our stew meat, okay? And then we're gonna pour in um what we chopped up in that blender and I'm gonna put some chicken broth in it, okay? And I'll put you the um I put the measurements or whatever how much of everything to put in it. I mean, if you get one of these, just just a half of the box, you know, just a half of the box. Because re remember, you put a little bit in the blender to blend up your chilies and peppers. And then we're going to put just a half of the rest in um, this pot, okay? And you're going to go ahead and pull that good stuff that we just blended up. We're going to pull that in there. And we're going to let this stew for about two hours until that meat is real tender and falling apart okay so we're gonna let this cook and let this good stuff stew matter of fact i'm gonna just go ahead and pour that whole box in there because you know once it's stew it's gonna cook down so all right let that blend and we're gonna let that stew for about two hours then we'll be back one more thing guys my apologies uh go ahead and put you some seasoning some more season in there put your onion powder creole salt pepper whatever you use for your seasoning all right and we're gonna put about four get you about four bay leaves get you some bay leaves i meant to tell you that for your part of your ingredients and just some bay leaves and we're gonna put some bay leaves in it you put one more since that one chopped up they all chopped up so if you got a full one just if you got full, four full ones put that in there all right so we're gonna let that do cook for about two hours then we'll be back all right guys so this really is like an hour later if you can see let me see if you can see it done cooked down some so you still want some of that uh juice in there right so make sure you get two things of the broth i'm gonna i'm gonna put everything that you need you know and let you know so that you can know exactly what to get um so get you two broth bottles but i'm gonna go ahead the same thing we did the first time to purify the uh to puree the chilies we're gonna do that again all right and then pull some more in here all right i'm gonna let that cook down for about another hour then we coming back and we're gonna chop up our meat all right all right, you guys, so I have tucked in the um, the beef out of the pot and just chopped it up real nice and fine. Then I got me some um, more onions and peppers chopped up. Take the, uh, take the um, what do you call those things? <laughs> the bay leaves. <laughs> take them out and just put them to the side. And then your parsley, put you a little bit of parsley in here in your pot, okay? I put some parsley in here. Just let that little bit cook in there. All right, so we about to get ready to prepare it, to put it all together. All right, you guys, so I have pulled out the flat top. I'm gonna go ahead, I, I'm gonna cook my onions and bad peppers and um, stuff first. Put some oil up here.
we we'll push it to the side where it's not that hot over here. Because I don't want to overcook them. Just cook them to where they're just enough, just halfway cooked, okay? Alright, so now we're going to get our tortilla wrap. Y'all know I got a big family, so I'm probably going to need about two packs. Make sure your surface is still greased. Now we're going to take the tortilla wrap. Bring this over so you can see. We're going to dip it in this pot, okay? That nice and dipped in there, with both sides. I forgot the part was hot, y'all. <laughs> Burn up a hand. All right, then we're gonna put this on here on our flat top, flat top frying pan, whatever you have. All right. Go on and put your cheese, everything in it. Put your cheese and your meat. Sure you keep your surface grease down. Bring it up a little closer for you guys to see this close up. Dip it again, both sides. Excuse me, y'all. My phone's about to tilt my camera over. All right, we're gonna flip that again. All right, y'all. This is gonna be so delicious. So I'm gonna keep doing this, repeating this, because y'all know I got about ten more of these to make, <laughs> and then um, I'll come back to you guys, and you'll see um the end result. You guys, and this is the end. I know these are going to be so delicious. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you think about the recipe and how did it taste. We are about to dive in and eat. Thank you guys for tuning in. God bless. <laughs>